Hello everyone and welcome back to my tiny homestead. I came home and had two very large boxes waiting for me. These are rain barrels for rain water collection. They are 65 gallons each. I have two of them. Um, they're pretty cool. They've got a planter on top. Uh, the rain water will collect down here. There's a screen to keep um, debris out uh, of your rain water. You can see over here uh, on the side there's a spout here that you can put a bucket or a watering can under and then I'm not sure if you can see all the way down here I'll try to back up a little bit there's another spout here at the bottom which I hope you can see um, that is for a like a garden hose so anyway so this is how it comes I can hear stuff rattling around in there so hold on a second screws on top for the screen cover which this is sealed otherwise there's no other um, entry into this there's no lid to take off Let's see if we got it So anyway, you can see we got the two spouts here, and it looks like some Teflon tape to keep those um, uh, watertight, and some little, little uh, mini instructions. So I found these for about um, ninety dollars each, and then I found a really great deal uh, for one dollar shipping. Most of the places that had them. Uh, the shipping really killed you. So, $91 for each rain barrel, but here in Southern California, we have a program for um, rain barrels 50 gallons and greater. Um, you get a $75 rebate on those. So, these barrels will end up costing me $16 each after I get that rebate. Pretty cool. All right. I guess I should be good and look at the instructions, but I think it's pretty simple that you just put the Teflon tape around it and oh, it tells you here about removing the screen, which you have to figure out before you can get to this anyway. Um, let's just go ahead and do this. So. This is the youngest of the two homestead guardians right here. This is Mochi. He'll get, uh, he already has some fans, but uh, we'll get some more pictures up at mytinyhomestead.com under the guardians section. That's uh, the section for Mochi, and I hear Ginger coming. I know if one of them's getting attention, then the other one's not far behind. Okay, if anybody has never worked with Teflon tape, um, it it adheres almost through like static. Uh, it's not sticky. So just a few twirls of this and you'll be good. It, it tears really easy, obviously. I mean, it's starting to get a little tight. I don't know if we can make another full turn or not. Yep, I think that's going to be about it. All right, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one on this one and then the other two on the other one. Uh, it is October right now in Southern California. We're heading into what we consider our rainy season. We do not get a whole lot of rain here in Southern California, but November through February um, tends to be when we do get our rain. So um, have a little bit of time to get these up. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll get these up and, and going and um, start collecting some rainwater. I also have to put up gutters. I don't have the gutters yet. So um, there's a few things that you guys can comment on 
and you know kind of give me some ideas of what you've done what's worked for you um, I'd really appreciate it okay I just wanted to say one more thing so I got the um, you know the faucets here screwed on I don't know if you can see there's a seam that's this molded plastic that goes all the way down um, I did read some reviews about this product that uh, if it, when it froze in the winter, if there was water in here, it caused it to split at the seams and obviously leak and it's no good anymore. Um, I live in an area where I don't freeze, um, so I'm not really worried about this. Again, thanks for watching. I, I appreciate all of your comments.